Hello ladies and gentlemen, Rob here with Deluxe Gaming, and welcome back to Mad Games Tycoon! We're now on episode 15, and we've we started working on the Deluxe Box. It cost us 100 and what, 50 million? It cost us a lot of money to get working on this. Now, a couple things we need to do to be sure that the Deluxe Box is successful. First thing, we need to make sure that we have a marketing campaign for it, so we're gonna, we're gonna throw a radio campaign on there. $180,000 per tick. I'm hoping this thing is successful. I mean, we've already thrown $160 million at it. We might as well throw a massive marketing campaign at it, too. Another thing we're going to do with that, we're going to pause it here for a second here. We're going to... Oh, actually, uh, where is the rest of this developer team? There should be three people in this team. Where's the other guy? Where's the other guy? Why is he not there? What's going on? Hold on, let's speed it up a little bit. Oh, he was in... Yeah, okay, that's him right there. Okay, so we're going to move this development team over to here for a moment. Nope, we're going to put them right back. We're going to grab everybody that's currently working on the deluxe box. We're gonna put them in training because they need to be good at programming. Programming is the primary skill for development and otherwise it's gonna take forever to build these boxes. And we're gonna put our current development team. So we have, we have Trifler with, oh, programming is only 40, oh. But we have somebody here with, oh, their programming actually is not that great. <laughs> it's not as good as I thought it was gonna be. Okay, so that changes things. Okay, I guess we will... You know what? We're going to put... Oh, hold on. I missed I missed somebody anyway. So we're going to put the team back here. Let's just take a look at the team briefly. So, uh, actually, no, we're going to pull one guy out of there. Who, okay, what's this guy at? Who is this? Ah, the stumps. We're not ready. We're not ready to publish that game. No, because we still have some graphics and we still have some, some audio stuff to do for it. Okay, so programming... His program is 88. Actually, that's good. He can stay... What's his programming? His program is 37. Okay, we're going to put him in training. We're going to take somebody with really high programming, 75. We're going to throw him into console development. And we're going to take Spiky Balls. We're going to put him into training. And we're going to take uh, Trifler. We're going to put him into training. We're gonna, and we're going to take uh, Archimedes. We'll put him into training. So we've got a couple of decent guys in our console development but we're, wow, you know what is there anybody else here that's decent yeah 59 that's decent in programming we'll put him into console development there i'm pretty happy with the devel the uh, development team for the consoles it's just i we want to make sure that it doesn't take forever to develop these consoles otherwise i don't know i don't know i want to be able to develop games for them and the sooner we can get that out in the market the better so uh, we're we're done development of the stumps however we still have some work to do so let's get these oh and let's get these guys training in programming over here too as well auto repeat programming there we go so uh we want to get the stumps out but we still need some more uh music and sound and we need graphics music and sound is taking a long time so i had an idea let us remove this training room we're going to destroy this training room yes we're going to take back the thirty-four thousand dollars. sure we're going to move this bathroom you know what we're going to do actually we're going <laughs> to because I don't like moving moving rooms that far. We're going to build a new toilet, and we're going to do automatically place objects. Yes, I want to move the toilet so that there's going to be enough room for people to get through the hallway there, so it's still a 5 by 3 but we're going to put the door on this side. Yeah, we're going to put the door on this side. Hey, look at that. I, this is the first time I've ever used the automatically build, uh, automatically build objects in the room thing. Hey, that worked out pretty well. They got a cheap sink and whatever. It doesn't matter. Actually, it's pretty cool. We're going to get rid of this bathroom entirely. Destroy! Yes. We should have done this from the beginning, but I thought we might be able to get away with a small uh, small room here. But no, the small music and sound room. No, we need to double its size. 12 by 6. Yeah, we'll do 12 by 6. Perfect. Uh, place door. The door can go there. Perfect. And we're going to place two more of those music studios because it's taking way too long we need to be able to turn out games when we want to and with with a new console coming out we want to be able to produce a whole bunch of new games for it so yeah there we go that's that's that now we're going to need to hire two more two more people to work in there so let's go hire staff we're going to need music and sound oh hey we've got a legendary in here you know what we're going to take that legendary Rich, Richie Garriott. Hey, Richard Garriott. Hey, that's cool. Right on. Hey, that's the first time I've seen actually recognized uh, Richard Garriott in here. That's awesome. Okay, we're going to put him in training for now. Uh, just uh, put him aside. I want to get two music and sound people. So we've got Anna Grant. We'll get her in here. And we're going to get Ricardo Van Byten. 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 All right, we're going to put those two guys into music and sound. We're going to let them finish off work on the stumps because yeah it just it's taking too long for this for this for this room to finish off the work that they need to do this way we can also expand our staff room yes very important because 
really we our staff room has been quite small as a matter of fact we're gonna make a hallway in there too as well so we're, we're only gonna expand it by one i think that should be okay can i put the door there yeah i can put the door there that's a little bit closer to everybody else too as well we'll push these back there and then when we want to uh, add a few more things into our staff room we can that's brilliant that's gonna work really well so i we have one too many employees right now but that's okay um let's rename those guys i'll do that really quickly here staff uh, let's see. De -de 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 -de. Let's go down, down. Usually I can recognize the names pretty easily. Anagret, so you will henceforth be known as Snake. <laughs> Snake. Ah, oh, wonderful, wonderful. And you're good at uh, recording dialogue. Oh, perfect. And you're a music and sound per person and adventure games. There we go. Snake, you are done. Okay. And then we've got uh, Archimedes. You will henceforth be known as. Minister Corp. Minister. Did hold on, did I yeah, no, that was right. I think I got the right guy. Hold on. Did I get the right guy? Archimedes, yeah. Wasn't it? Hold on, I just want to be sure. Cause he looks like he's he's somebody that's been around for a while, but uh maybe, maybe I'm wrong. I don't I don't want to replace anybody that's uh, that's already been here for a while. Here, let's just find somebody else. Hold on, let's go back up here. Ricardo Yeah, no, Ricardo's new. I know Ricardo's new, so you will be henceforth known as Minister Corp. Minister Corp. There we go. Whoop, not Minister Copped. Minister Corp. There we go. And you are also good at recorded dialogue and adventure games. Huh. It's like a trend. Okay, and then we've got one more person here. Maybe it was Archimedes. Did I already change the name of that person? <clears throat> Pardon me. Oh, yes, I did. This is a person here. Yes. Okay, so you will be known as Cheese Balls. <laughs> Ah, <laughs> oh, great names, great names. And you are good at land multiplayer games and platformer games. Perfect. Cheese balls. Welcome to the team, guys. Okay, let's get to work here. Perfect. So now, yeah, now we, we will have doubled the capacity for music and sound work because that is one of the things that's taking way too long. I want to be able to turn out games when we need to, and right now we just haven't been able to do it. We're going to push this development to another room while we're waiting, and we're going to get these guys. So there's some new features in this game, actually, that are oh, so good. So first of all, contract work. So now automatically execute contracts. That is like the best button I've ever seen. So now they will go, they will work on all of the contracts one after another. I don't have to keep clicking on it. So it was a little bit of a click fest before. So that is really, really nice. Another thing, oh, uh, game reports. Actually, let's look at the game, completed game reports. Something, maybe, I know this is new. I don't know how new, I might've missed it last time. But if you look at, for example, one of the games that we're gonna be upgrading, we're gonna be doing a sequel to here, Candy Mush Saga. One of our top hits. So now you can actually see that Candy was struck a chord and Bricks struck a chord. So you can actually see the topics, whether the topics also jived with everything. So uh, some games, uh, I don't know, let's see, let's take a look at something that didn't do so well. But Bobo Boy Smash, <laughs> here's a perfect example. So for what kind of, what genre was this? This was, uh, this was a fighting game, I think. <laughs> Rock stars and bounty hunters are not good for fighting games. I thought bounty hunters might be good, but no, rock stars and bounty hunters are not good. They're not good topics for this genre. So now we can actually see whether the topics jived or not. That is great. I love that. That's gr really great. Game Dev Tycoon, I'm sure business game development, of course, those jives. So that is really, really great. Some really new, great new additions to this game that will make life way easier. Okay, so we're gonna create a game report because I think we forgot to do Robo Jitsu. Let's do that. I don't think we, we, we missed on something. It was Robots and Ninjas. I would think that both of those would be great for fighting games, but I, I guess not. I don't know. I don't know. I have no idea. I, I think we've got some features that we need to research. Yes, pre-rendered graphics. Excellent. And uh, while we're waiting, uh, the stumps will be done pretty soon. Is there a small production contract we can do? Something small. Something that's only like only like a million or something. Two million. Two million. 1.9. 1.89. Here we go. Oh, I guess it shows the smallest ones on the bottom. Ah, they changed the order on that. But notice there's also an automatically do production contracts button now as well. That is super handy. I love that. I can't wait until the del deluxe box is released. I have no idea how this is going to work. I don't know. I've never, I've never been this far in this game. So I'm pretty excited to see what's going to happen. Let's pump it up in speed here while we're working on all this stuff. A lot of stuff going on here, guys. A lot of stuff. Our graphic. Okay. They are done. Okay. So let's release the stumps and cross our fingers. 
Okay, so oh, we, we missed we missed on technology and sound. We didn't quite beat our records, but we beat our records on graphics and our graphics and gameplay. So that's good. We're gonna do we're gonna self-publish this thing. Whoops, no, no, no. Self pub self-produce. We'll give ourselves an extra week here, two weeks. And uh, of course we're gonna include the manual color manual, poster, sticker, balloon, deck. And we're gonna sell this sucker for twenty-five? 25 that gives us 17 dollars profit per uh, this set price automatically i don't really know what that means it doesn't change anything like if i bump this up will it doesn't change the price so i don't know exactly what that does for you maybe maybe when you first come in here it adjusts everything for you i don't know but anyway so that's good excellent and we got bonus experience points for everyday life parallel world simulation pony game station and sega Merker, which is apparently supposed to be modeled after the sega saturn <laughs> the sega Sa sega saturn which is unfortunate <laughs> Oh well. Okay, building an everyday life. Okay, and nobody else has the same genre or theme. <gasps> Come on, big box, big box, big box. Come on. Oh really? Wow. Oh actually. Oh no. We're good. I'm good with 88. I'm good with 88. We're gonna make. We're gonna make a good 40, 50 million off of this game. The graphics are great. They are the best I've seen in some time. The sound is the best I've ever heard. This is a new standard. Standard in sound. Wow. The controls define perfection. They are the best controls I've seen in a game. The game shows its strength during gameplay. Well done. The game turned out really well. I highly recommend this game. We got a bonus for graphics, sounds, patch, package contents, and we got a prize for the fun award. We got the fun award prize. Fan freaking tastic! Okay, so we'll just finish uh, finish our little production contract here. We'll slow it down a little bit because we're going a little fast. <laughs> um, oh, uh, while we're waiting, let's throw these two new new people into training for music and sound. Uh, yes, automatically repeat. There you go. Good. We'll wait until we're done uh, doing our little production contract for Hasbro's. Hasbro's. Yeah, and then we'll move on to producing the game. So, rope, no, the stumps. We're gonna produce the stumps. I'm sure we're gonna sell a million copies, at least a million copies. It's not gonna be as, it's not gonna be the biggest game we've ever had, but it's gonna be pretty good. So, I'm really curious to see what the game report says. So, let's do create game report. And oh, I can't look at the other one while while we're waiting and looking at that. Unfortunately, I, it won't take long for that to get done. Anyway, we're almost done pre-rendered graphics, and then once these guys are done this, their contracts, we're gonna update our puzzle. Our puzzle engine. We'll update a few engines because we still got a while to wait before we're done. You know what? Are any of these guys ready to go back into uh, console development? We've got a 60. We've got a 66. Oh, 91.7. There we go. Perfect. You're going back. Perfect. Uh, I think that's good. I think. Oh, no. Uh, oh, no. Actually, no. We've got. We had four people in there. Okay, that's fine. We'll keep them all into training here. Perfect. So we're maxed out. Oh, that's right. Because we picked up a new guy. That's right. Picked up a new guy. So we're actually going to be over one guy. That's okay. I'm sure we'll find a place for him, even if we put him into research or something. So let's go back and do more console research. I don't know. Let, let's let's just do some more random topics. Let's just pick something. Uh, castles. <gasps> Oh, castles would be good. Or prisons. Prisons would be really good, too. We could do, like, prison architect, but not prison architect. Do something different than that. Okay, produce game. We're going to produce... Did we... Okay, we already got a million. That's probably good. <laughs> I don't want to take... Wow, our first week was only 39,000 copies. Really? Oh, game based on our engine. $610,000 for the builds plus, 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 plus engine. Oh, that's great. Uh, let's improve our old puzzles engine because we're going to do a puzzle game next. Uh, fighting games are against the trend right now. They're unpopular, so we're not going to do that. Holiday? Holiday? No, no. I think we're going to do a sequel. We're going to do a sequel to one of our all-time smash hits. A sequel to oh, $257,000 to improve that engine. Sequel to Candy Mush Saga. Now, if I remember correctly, Candy Mush, they, uh, Candy Crush. They also came out with another game called Candy, Candy Crush Soda or Candy Soda. Something like that. So I think I've got a name for it too as well. But it's going to be one of our first sequels. I think we did a sequel before, but it's been a while. So let's do another topic. I want to do prison. Prisons. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, I did Predators. Actually, Predators would be good for fighting games. Yeah, Predators Predators versus Aliens. Best soundtrack? No. Best graphics? No. Studio of the Year! Yes! Shameless Stick Games! 3,500 fans! And Game of the Year! The Stumps! Yes! Uh, so we're up to 129,000 fans! That's crazy! Oh, sales are going up, actually. Sa uh, 56,000 per week. That's not bad. Let's finish off that contract, too, as well. We make we make millions of dollars off of contracts now. We really can't sneeze at that. We still got a ways to go before the deluxe box is done. I don't want to build a new game until that is done, because I want to build a game for our new console. It only makes sense, right? Uh, let's go research topics. Uh, let's go back to genres here. Is there any genres we should pick up for um, for building games? Third-person shooter, RPG, uh, sports, maybe? 
interactive movie? Like the movie? I don't know. There's really nothing here for genres. Uh, let's do, uh, we could, we could automatically research topics too. Wow. That's a brilliant idea. Well, that's great. It would cost a fortune, but uh, no, let's go back to console research for now. How much is it going to be to do case generation four? 3.5 million. Sure. That's really pricey. <laughs> it's a good thing we're making money. Wow. Okay. Yeah. So we're making about 2 million per week on the stumps, which is really good. Actually, I'm, I'm quite okay with that. We're selling about 51,000 copies per week. Maybe our price was a little high on that one because the quality, I don't know. Robo Jitsu is done. Let's take that off the market. Take game from market. Uh, Robo Jitsu. Yes. Didn't want to take the stumps off. That would be bad. <laughs> um, that would be uh, that would be a big faux pas on my part, and I'm sure everybody would yell at me. Just give me a sec. I'm just checking our time, just to be sure I set the time. There we go. Perfect. Okay. So uh, we've got two guys training our new sound effects people. Our deluxe box controller is being developed as we speak. We're up to 75 in hype for the for the deluxe box. So. People are excited about it. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be a hit or not. Oh, let's go take a look at that game report. Game report. Uh, the stumps. So why did we only get 89%? So everyday life was good. That fit with the whole uh, building game uh, building game genre. But Parallel Worlds is not. So how would you build The Sims? Like, I don't know if there is a... I'm going to have to take a look at research. Hold on. Let's take a look at something. I want to research topics. What would be good for The Sims? I... I don't know, like there is no people. I've looked for people, like people and everyday life would be perfect, but there is no people. I can't, I don't know. I honestly, I don't know. Maybe they haven't planned for The Sims. They didn't even think about it. So I don't know. Next, that's fine. That's fine. We will do something different for a building game next time. I'm thinking like either Castles. I remember when I was younger, there was a game called Castles and it was really, really great. We're gonna do, uh, should we automate production contracts? Probably not a good idea. Let's just do one big one. There we go, $186,000. The controller's just about done. It's so we're up to 5,500 uh, arbitrary points in the in the uh, in the in, in the console. So I don't know. I think that's good. I don't know. I have no idea. I have no idea if that's going to be good or not. I, I'm hoping it's going to be good. Oh, contracts. We've got some more of those to do. Let's do those while we're waiting. Yes. Perfect. Three hundred thirty-six thousand dollars for that contract. That is crazy. That's so good. That's so good. Uh, yeah. So I'm kind of thinking we might swap these guys back and forth, like make sure that all of these guys have top programming so that um, our console design guys are top in programming because we want those consoles out as quickly as possible so that we can start developing games for them. I don't think we can develop games for them while the console is in development. I'm pretty sure we can. Is there anything we can market right now? I suppose we could do some more marketing for the stumps. Oh, wow. We're going to have to do, we're going to have to do an update too as well. Let's create a marketing campaign. You know what? Let's, uh, let's bring it back up to 75. It should only take one round. Let's also do a couple updates for it. The stumps. Meet the stumps. Meet the stumps. <laughs> uh, that's cool. So 300 and some thousand dollars for that update. That is crazy. So we are making money, but we are spending money as fast as we make it for sure. This, this console has to be good or we could be in big trouble. Let's do one more quick update for them. I like to do them in pairs, as I always say. $401,000 for that update. Crazy amounts of money. Crazy amounts. There's really not much for the quality assurance people to do right now. Um, it's just a matter of waiting for that console. Let's let's speed it up just a little bit. We've got to get that console done. It's up to 6,600 arbitrary points. <laughs> up to, uh, they're working on the design. We're 94% done. We're getting close. Getting close to getting that, that silly thing finished. Oh, another contract. Get that done. It'd be nice if you could just say, you know, anytime a contract comes up, it will do it. But, I mean, I'm really glad that they added that button in anyway. That is a huge convenience. I can totally see now. Oh, ha! Ah, Deluxe box. Your new con your new console was completed. The green deluxe box. It's only a one star. So what does that mean? Can we improve upon that star, or is it always going to be that one star? Seventy two sixty one arbitrary points. Ah, how much should the development kit kit be? So this is what uh, the develop developer would have to pay to make games for it. So how about how about um, five hundred bucks? We'll get you a kit because. We want people to develop games for it so it becomes more popular, right? But, you know, I mean, having something back, I guess, for that is, is okay. We're not selling a new console for $599. We, our cost is $196, so we still want to make money. Uh, let's do... $499 is really expensive, too. Let's do $399? That means we're only making, like, $200 on that? You know what? That's okay. Uh, allow games from third party. Uh, set price automatically. I don't know what that does. 
Maybe it adjusts the price as time goes on. I don't know. I have no idea. So we're only going to make a couple hundred bucks per console. Wow, that was expensive to develop too. It's a double A console though. So maybe we should charge more for it. But know what happened to Xbox when they tried to sell theirs for $4.99? It didn't go well. So let's do $3.99. $3.99 I think is okay. Although it is a new console. I don't know. Hey, we got... It's... it's. I wonder if that star... I wonder if we can improve that star. Oh, hey, look at that. We sold 10,906... Uh, boxes in our first week. Hey, we made some money. We got 0.01 market share. Okay, let's start developing a new game. Video game boom plus 50% sales. Oh, we need to build a game right now. Okay, we're gonna develop a game. This is actually no, 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 no. We're gonna do a. We need to develop our engine. We need to improve old engine. I think we already did this. I, I just be sure. Yeah, we already did this. Okay, perfect. So we are ready to go. We are going to do a successor to one of our all-time smashes. Candy Mush Saga. Where are you? Candy Mush Saga. There we go. So this is a C sequel. It's Candy and Bricks Puzzle and Skill. Skill games. Okay, that's fine. And we're going to use the Puzzles. Puzzles plus plus pluses plus engine. <laughs> and this is going to be called, I'm going to rename this to Candy Mush instead of Soda. Bubbles. Bubbles. Candy Mush Bubbles. Oh, I love it. And this is going to be a double A game. And it's because we can... We now have a console that we really want to develop for. So we want the personal computer. We want the pony game station, I guess is fine. Actually, I'm going to see if there's any more kits that we can buy. I hope we don't have to buy our own kit. I don't think so. No. So yeah, Nintendo is 2.4. Okay, so I'll just keep that in mind. We're going to develop for the Upple Muck. And now last but not least, the Deluxe Box. There is already a game out for the Deluxe Box. I wonder if it was our game. Interesting. Okay, we're going to develop for the Deluxe Box. Now, I, I suppose if we were really serious about console development, we would just de develop for the Deluxe Box, maybe? I don't know. I have no idea what the right answer is, but I like that it's green. <laughs> okay, so let's take a look and see if there's any more copy protection. Uh, oh, Secure, di Secure Disk uh, version 3. Excellent. So let's get that going. Excellent. And uh, let's import our game reports from Candy Mush Saga. I think that was a dead-on one. I'm pretty sure. Well, I know we were doing really well, or it was pretty close. Uh, Core Gamer. We were off for Core Gamer. Hold on. Pokewoman. Ah, Core Gamer. Here we go. So we're going to copy these settings here. So we're dead on on everything. Copy those settings. Uh, let's be sure that it didn't mess with our Candy Bricks puzzle. Okay, all that looks really good. Okay, excellent. And uh, for all languages, of course. And uh, the priorities are perfect. And we're going to make sure that we've got all, all 19 new features are available. So that's good. We're ready to go. And done. Develop. Go develop people. Develop. Develop my children. <laughs> uh, uh, no, hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Enable all. We're going to develop. do all the graphics for it. We're going to do all the sounds for it, of course. Ooh, very nice. Very nice. We're going to do all of the motion stuff. Uh, animations tier 3. Filming tier 3. Excellent. We're going to do all the gameplay stuff for it. Uh, enable all. Perfect. This is going to be a good game. And we should, it should, be, we should be able to pump it out way faster now because we've got the extra development, uh, extra the sound and audio and sound guys here. So let's put them back in the office so that they can get to work. Let's just uh, cancel this. Uh, cancel course. That's fine. We don't need we don't need them to continue working in there. And maybe let's get these guys over here and doing more programming training course. Oh, hold on. I just missed that message. I want to see what that message is. Something about the deluxe box, I think. Hold on. Uh, auto, auto repeat. Uh, oh, that's game design programming. Did I do programming? Yeah, okay, good. Okay, uh, oh, I, somebody just, I think somebody just developed a game for our new console. I don't know. I missed that message. They go by so fast sometimes I can't see it. I know there's a way to look at history. Uh, let's, I just want to see something really quickly here. Info and history. History. Uh, maybe it doesn't show up on here. I don't know. Uh, 1997. We're in 1980. Oh, personal. Oh, ITM announced that personal computer is available. No, that doesn't it doesn't show us the messages I want to see. That's the thing. I want to see the other messages. That's okay. There's probably a way to bring those up, but that's okay. We don't need to, we don't need to do that. Uh, stock. We're still at 331,000. The game is actually selling really well. The stumps is selling tremendously well, surprisingly well. I think it's also I think this we actually it ends, automatically goes into our own console too as well, which is great. Um, we should maybe do a little bit more marketing for them because it's going so well. Uh, let's do auto repeat for up to 75 and uh, let's produce a little bit more of the game. Let's produce another 
250,000 for now. Perfect. I don't want to miss that opportunity. Let's do some more console research. Let's go do DV disc because we're going to do the next generation of consoles as soon as we possibly can because I think I think there's good money to be made. Look at this. We sold 168,000 um, uh, consoles. Actually, that's really great. That's way better than what I expected. We're, we're making pretty good money on it. We're not making back the hundred and some million dollars though. Maybe we should have done the, maybe we should have raised the price on it. I don't know. I don't know what the right answer is. I have no idea. Let's do another production contract while we're sitting here. Perfect. So far, so good. Um, I really want to get this, this next game out as quickly as possible because this one is going right onto the deluxe box. And I think, I think we'll be able to develop it fairly quickly now because we've got the extra people in sound. So, oh, you were, you were almost a Jill sandwich. What does that mean? What does that mean? <laughs> Secret messages in this game. I don't know what it means. We should do some more marketing for our console too as well You know what? Let's 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 pump some money into that. Let's do a TV advertising into our deluxe box. I Think oh, I think I did some more advertising in the deluxe box already. No, I don't know what I did But anyway, oh, uh, we need we need some we need some patches for the game uh Oh, we just made a whole bunch of copies of it. We need to patch it up. Okay, let's do throw our team in there and let's do another update for the stumps Let's do enable all perfect Go because I just did more marketing for it and I just made more copies. We don't want it to start petering off now We're only so we only sold 16,000 last week. That's not good Okay, we're gonna do a couple patches because we want to keep that rolling for as long as possible Actually, I'm, I'm impressed. We're up to 0.15 market share. That's good. It's rising 0.16. It's going up I wonder how long how long we can keep that on the market like I wonder what what the timeline is for that It's probably a couple years. I think let's do another update for the stumps Hopefully, I hope so anyway, because yeah, we're up to 31. It's actually going really, really well. And I think it is bolstering the sales for our own game too as well. It's funny that we don't have to develop different versions of the game though. You would think, oh, let's do, can I put, can I put uh, consoles in here? No, I can't do consoles. Oh, but we could do, we could do, we could do, spend the 1.75 million, do two games and do the stumps, which is currently on the market right now. And also our new game in development, Candy Bush, Candy Mush Bubbles. And a game console and the deluxe box. Oh, brilliant. For 1.75 million, I think that's worth it. So we've had 91,500 people at our booth, 80, 18,000 new fans. Fantastic. That should bolster everybody's, uh, everybody's, uh, oh yeah. Deluxe box is up to 97 hype now. Oh, that's fantastic. And uh, the stumps is back up to 80. That's great. Actually, it's really good. That's totally worth the 1.75 million. You gotta have lots of stuff to show off at the show though. That's a thing. Uh, these guys might as well do some more contract work while they're sitting here. Uh, sure, go ahead. How's this guy doing? What's he at? He, oh, he's at 100 programming. Let's just see if there's anybody that's not at 100 programming in the development room that we can swap out. Everybody's at 100 programming now. So maybe we're gonna stop the automation here. We'll let him finish that course up. And then maybe uh, we'll throw We'll throw him in the other room here, in our console development room, and these guys, no, they, they they need to focus on programming. Yeah, so I think that's that's fine. We'll just keep him. We have an extra person right now. I don't know where to put him. I suppose we could put him in in uh, research, but research is game design, I think? I'm not even sure. I'm not even sure. So far, so good. Are we going speed four? We are. Wow, we've sold 544 consoles. 544,000 consoles. That's actually, oh, sea of trash. We need garbage. Garbage, 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 garbage. Miscellaneous garbage trash cans. Throw one in here, and I think we need one in, in that room. Uh, let's throw one anywhere that we don't have one, I guess. It doesn't really matter. One beside his desk. There we go. Very nice. Excellent. There we go. Continue on. Whoops. There we go. Uh, production contract. How are we doing for copies here? Uh, only 68,000 left. We're going to produce more. Let's do another, I don't know, another 100,000. I don't want to go too crazy because it is starting to peter off a little bit. But we've done really well. We made 30 million on this game. I'm, I can't, you can't sneeze at that. But Candy Mush Bubbles is going to be through the roof. It is going to be our best game yet. Because we, it, we've mastered, oh, uh, we need to get some, we need to get some bug bashing going really quickly here. As a matter of fact, we can get our console design people. 
working on bug bashing. I think that's a really good idea. I think we have, yeah, the perfect. There's three people in there. Remove bugs, candy mush bubbles. Cause otherwise, otherwise everything's gonna be ready except for the bugs again. Okay, we can also get this team working on the bugs cause they're done working on all the gameplay stuff. There's so much to keep track of. I love it, I love it, I love it. I don't know, I just, I love the busyness of this game. Uh, let's, uh, do we want any more copies? Hold on, let's see here. 136,000 left. Uh, I think we'll just, I think we're probably done. Let's go into production contracts and we're gonna automatically, no, we're not gonna automatically do anything. No, we're gonna do that. Just do another contract for $149,000. And uh, the bubbles are going, or the, the bubbles. <laughs> the bubbles are getting smashed quickly. Hey, the sound design guys are done. What are we waiting on then? We're waiting on the graphics guys. So that tells me we need to hire, actually we've got an extra person right now. So let's put another, no, no, we need a graphics design desk. We need to go to graphics design. Where are you, where are you? Uh, why can't I see it? Graphics studio, there we go. Uh, we're gonna put another desk in here because we've got an extra person right now. We might as well put them in this room. I'm gonna have to move some stuff around. Let's move that door just a little bit. The door can go right there. There we go. And our extra person, which is this guy. He's good at music and sound. Or we've got this guy. Do I have anybody? Oh, candy mush, mush bubbles. Oh, hey, that looks, that looks like candy mush. That looks sort of like candy mush. That's really cool. We're not ready to publish quite yet. I just want to see, is there anybody in these rooms that's really good at graphics? That was 30, 46. He was 46. That was pretty good. Uh, let's see. Is there anybody over here? 40, 44, 32. So let's take, who is this? This is only bro555. You're going to go into graphics design. There we go. It's a good career. Good career in gra graphics design. I like that. I think you'll like it too. There we go. Then we've got our, our, our extra person used up. Just because our sound people were done before our graphics people, I think that should beat the curve then. And uh, we'll be done. Our future games are going to get developed very fast. I mean, pretty fast, I think. Uh, we sold 800, 913,000 consoles. I wonder how long this goes on for. That's great. Uh, research, let's do some more, oh, features, uh, v VR 3D, to see, eh. <laughs> VR 3D support, uh, $80,000 for that, wow, already, it's only 1997, I guess there was some early VR games, uh, way back when, I guess, they weren't that popular though, there was for Nintendo, Nint or Nintendo, there was, there was some VR stuff, even, if I remember correctly, even Atari had something, if I remember, I, I, it's hard, it's a long time ago. I, I just want to see our game report. I think we looked at it already, but the stumps. Yeah, everyday like parallel worlds is, is a thing that wasn't good for the stumps. Yeah, okay. Yeah, just wanted to be sure of that. Um, we're almost done. I think we're done. We're ready to release Candy Mush Bubbles. It, it looks like chess. <laughs> uh, okay. Uh, hold on. Just be sure. Yeah, we're ready to go. We're ready to go. Uh, there is, we need to market the crap out of that, though. Uh, deluxe box. Why? Okay, stop automation on that. We're gonna do some more marketing on Candy Mush Bubbles because it's only 44. I guess we forgot to do it entirely. So I don't know why they're still spending still spending the $500,000 per tick on that. So games, we're gonna do Candy Mush Bubbles. We're gonna do the whole the whole kit and caboodle. Stop marketing once hype. Oh, that's why I forgot to put stop marketing once hype is at maximum. That's why we're gonna do TV campaign, and we're gonna release it now. Let's go, Candy Mush Bubbles. It's only at 44, uh, oh, wow, we didn't we didn't do that great. I mean, we didn't beat our graphics history, we didn't beat, beat our sound or technology, but we did beat for gameplay. Let's go, we're gonna self-produce that. We're gonna give ourselves one week. That should be good, and uh, I think we can probably charge more. Let's do $26, and I'm happy with what's in the box. There we go, and uh, we got bonus points for bricks and the Pony Game Station. We don't get experience for the deluxe box because I guess it's our console. The, nobody else has a, p a puzzle candy game on the market. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Big bucks, big bucks, big bucks, big bucks. 95, come on, go for 95. Come on, 94, 95, 96. 96, wow, I think that's a new record for us. Graphics are great. They're the best I've seen in some time. The sound is well done. It's all round solid with not much to complain about. The controls define, define perfection. These are the best controls I've seen in a game. The game play of this game is hard to beat. Well done. The game is a smash hit. A real candidate for game of the year. Good genre. Graphics, sound, package contents. We also got game of the month, which means it might change the genre, Ooh, which means we might want to follow that with another candy mush type game. And then we got the fun award too as well. 96%. We are going to produce the crap out of this game. <laughs> uh, candy mush bubbles. We're going to produce. Let's produce. Uh, let's just keep the machine going at 2 million. 
I know, that seems like a lot. It is a lot, actually. That might be a mistake, but I don't think so. I think we want to make sure that we have... And now, it's, it's, we're, we're going to have more copies than we can fill in our storage room, but I think that's okay. I think we're going to sell it all. I think we're going to make a, like, a, a, maybe, maybe like 100 million on that one. That, I think that's wonderful. <laughs> oh, big bucks. I like the money. I like the money. First week, 100,000 sold. Oh, yeah, we're going to sell. We're going to sell like 4 million of that game. Oh, yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah, we're going to make... Second week, 124,000 sold. And this is really good for our deluxe box too as well, which, which we're up to 1.23 million uh, consoles sold. It's funny that it was only a one-star console. I thought it would be better than that, but okay, let's get back to our console research because I want to do the next generation as quickly as we possibly can. Um, let's also, wow, 155,000. Wow, Armies of Force. Wow, somebody else sold pardon me, a builds plus 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 game, Armies of Force, and we made $829,000 off it. That's really good. They made 2.76 million. We got that 30% out of that. Fantastic. We could start developing. A, you know what? We're going to do a back to back. We've got it. We've got to do it. Let's do a develop a new game. This is going to be another puzzle game because we're going to change. I guarantee we're going to change the genre. Uh, let's do main genre. It's going to be puzzle. Secondary genre is going to be skill it's gonna use our puzzles oh wait 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 yeah we have we have a new thing that we can add to our engine too as well improval engine puzzle plus 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 features add uh, enable all features there we go so yes uh that brings us up to 31 that means we'll be able to do the full 20 features for our next game guys we are totally out of time oh perfect timing perfect timing best soundtrack red spear 2 best graphics best of india prince of india ah studio of the year shameless tick games 3500 fans game of the year candy mush bubbles 5,000 fans. We're up to 169,000 fans. Crazy. This game is going to make us hundreds of millions of dollars. I, I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty darn sure that we're going to make a ton of money on that. Guys, we're out of time. I hope you're enjoying Mad Games Tycoon and Candy Mush Saga. Oh, wow. Look at all the trash out here. That's new. That's totally new. I wonder if that's supposed to be there. How do we clean that up? All right. Anyway, guys, I hope you're enjoying it. Take care. Bye.